So I spent like $10,000 and this is what I got. Ugh. So today is the greatest Friday of the year for cheapskates like me. Today's Black Friday. Well, I need a new camera for my vlog. I need a new phone because mine's really old and isn't working anymore. And then I have a couple other little things that I want to buy. Something tells me today's going to be really expensive, which doesn't make me happy. I bought a new camera. A camera lens. A lens adapter. A new phone. Kitchen counter. Kitchen appliances. Home mortgage. Quarterly income taxes. I knew today was going to be expensive, but that got out of control. Let's go over everything I bought and basically see how broke I am now. New camera, $900. Lens for the camera, $1,000. Lens adapter because, oh, by the way, the lens I bought doesn't fit on the camera I bought, $100. New phone, $800. New countertops for our kitchen, $3,000. Appliances for our kitchen, $2,800. And then my mortgage, tax, and other small things, $2,000. For a grand total of $10,600. This was by far the most amount of money I've ever spent in a day. All right, it's Saturday afternoon. I still haven't recovered from all the money I spent yesterday, but before all that stuff comes in, I'm watching the Penn State game. They're actually not losing. It's 0-0 and the game just started five minutes ago, but hey, they're still not losing. Today we're taking Roxy to the vet, which is not gonna be a fun experience for either of us. Somehow cats always know you're about to take them to the vet. That was terrible. So yes, Roxy is fine. For those of you that are wondering why she's going to the vet, it's just an annual checkup. But oh man, I feel so bad stuffing her in that little cage. But what makes it even harder for me and Sam is because of COVID, we can't go into the vet with her. So it's kind of like pet takeout slash drop off. What? I like my football. All right, we made it back home. Roxy has a clean bill of health. She's super healthy and Penn State's actually winning the football game. Penn State gets its first win of 2020. This isn't the type of year that James... Ford Guys, it's a miracle. Penn State won its first game of the season. And later tonight, there's a big fight. Mike Tyson against Roy Jones Jr. and Jake Paul against Nate Robinson. Well, it was an interesting night. Of course, Jake Paul knocks out Nate Robinson in the second round, and then Mike Tyson seemed to win every single round. My friend Steve actually bet $50 on Mike Tyson, and then they just decided to call it a draw. I played football again this morning, and now I am so sore. I could barely get down the stairs. But anyway, I came upstairs for an hour to edit a video, and when I came back downstairs, Sam had put up every single Christmas decoration probably in the world. So I'm gonna do the same thing I did with the Halloween decorations and show you everything we got. Pine needles on the railing. Ceramic train with Christmas colored candles. Snowman to my left and snowman to my right. Fancy snow globes. Very elaborate Christmas village. Son of a nutcracker. Dozens of Christmas singing people. Kind of creepy. Stockings with our names on them. And a gingerbread stocking holder. I actually broke this a couple years ago watching a basketball game. If you look closely at her neck, it's put together with 
hot glue. So if you guys saw last week's video, I got Sam a treadmill for her birthday. No, it wasn't because I think she's fat. It's because that's what she wanted for her birthday. Well, last night I had my friend Steve come over. He helped me bring the treadmill down here, but now we have to put the whole thing together. <laughs> Well, it took us two nights to put this treadmill together, but it's finally time to plug it in. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Doesn't fit. So I have some good news and some bad news. The good news is three of the packages that I ordered just came in. The bad news is they delivered it during the biggest rainstorm of the year and they didn't put them in bags. I mean, the, my boxes are literally soaking wet. Ugh. So the funny thing is if you guys remember last week on Monday, it was a beautiful sunny day and I lost power. Today, it's like a hurricane out there. Power's fine. Let's open up these boxes. It's a lens adapter. So the lens that I bought with my camera doesn't fit the camera, so I had to buy a lens adapter. This one is from B&H Photo. I don't remember what I bought from them. We've got, oh geez. <laughs> Sam bought uh, ink for our printer and I guess she bought it from B&H Photo. Oh, this is the phone. This is the new phone. Okay, so I got a phone case, Samsung Galaxy S10, and the Samsung Galaxy S10 itself. At least it was wrapped in plastic if the box got too wet. <laughs> Okay, so the guys just finished up the countertops. They look beautiful. Let me show you guys in a second. But my phone just rang. It said that we have a tornado warning right now. And it... Okay, it's actually getting kind of scary outside. Let me show you guys the countertops really quickly. And then me and Roxy are going to go in the basement. <laughs> Okay, so the countertops look beautiful. I think the tornado warning is pretty much gone and I got myself another box and I think this is actually gonna be the new camera. Oh yeah. So I spent like $10,000 and this is what I got. So for those of you that are wondering, it's called the Canon EOS RP. Tomorrow, I'm gonna go to the Verizon store, get my phone set up, and get this bad boy set up too. And I'll show you a comparison of what my videos look like now and what they're gonna look like with the new camera. see I've resorted to ramen noodles for lunch because of all the money I spent this week. But anyway, I got the phone. It's all set up. It looks basically exactly the same as my old one, but let's just do a little video test here. So let's pull up the camera. Testing phone camera. Testing phone camera. How does it look, guys? Does it look better than my expensive camera? Worse? So I'm excited about the phone, but the camera is what I'm really excited for. And I finally got the last box. Ugh. The lens was like a thousand dollars, as I said in the beginning of this video, so it better be good. Okay, this camera is comically huge. I mean, look at this. It's almost as big as my giant head. Like, look at the difference between my old camera that I'm using right now and this giant behemoth of a camera. Let's do a comparison of the camera I'm using right now to the brand new expensive camera and see if I wasted all my money. You ready? Huh. Oh. All right, guys, let me know in the comments what you think. I think the picture quality on this is amazing but I kind of think the camera's just too big. The lens almost hits me in the face. The thing weighs a ton. I think I just spent $10,000 for nothing. We got the extension cord. The treadmill works now. 